Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and on this video of my On One series I show you a very short tutorial and this is about how you can use a black and white layer to be creative with your image or to give it a better contrast. Yeah, we go directly in to the perfect effects and to make this video short I use one of my presets and this is a preset from the last video from the black and white video with all the layers like the black and white conversion the film, the sharpening and the vignette and I apply this directly to my image and back in perfect layers I use both layers to work with and I sh like to show you how creative you can be by only using one or two of these black and white layers and changing the blending mode. If you for example choose soft light and lower the opacity you have a great contrast layer. You can see the effect here in the bushes for example and even in the sky you have a deeper blue, it's something like a polarizing filter. Yeah, and uh, if you change, we increase the opacity and we change it to screen and go back, activate the layer, you can see what happens to these shadows here. So if we go back to normal just to copy it, we go into the first with screen, use the second as soft light and now we lower the opacity to a point where an area of interest is good like the bushes and the sky I'm looking at so I have a good contrast here and then we go in with this screen layer and do the same and we're only looking at the at the shadow areas to get the detail back, something like this. So now you can activate a mask, a black mask, and you can paint back these areas you want to have. We're taking our brush, going down with the size and the opacity. on around 50 and now we can paint back in those shadow areas where the contrast is too hard for this image. It's uh, very fast now for the video but only that you can see what you can do. Very fast and rough masking here. Not so exactly. You should change the brush size and the opacity of the brush. You can go up with the opacity of the whole layer a little bit. Something like this. And now you see what we can do with some strokes, 
paint out this here in the tree area, the, the leaves, that we only have the rock there, a little bit more visible. Yeah, but you can see what you can do by only using one layer to have a better contrast and another one to get back some of the details from the shadow areas. Yeah, that, this was it for now for this video. Thanks for watching. See you back next time. Goodbye.